Hey, what's up YouTube? Well, I know I might be making too many of these videos, but you know, it's better than sitting around and thinking about all the bad things that have been happening lately. And if I want to make a video before they get started on the grass, well, I better make it quick. So today, um, I have a very short window of opportunity since my dad will probably come home early to deal with the car. Um, and what I'd like to talk about, well, is a number of things. Um, I think I want to title this video, Why I Think the Way I Do. Um, and specifically what I mean by that is why I'm so anti-trans or anti-LGBT or whatnot. Um, and it has a lot to do with my parents and my dependency on them, you know? I mean, I know my videos... You know, I just tend to bounce back and forth from one awful subject matter to the other, you know. If it's not the Rugrats, I'll just put an R in a splat to represent them. It's the trans thing. Okay, and I'm representing it like that. And if it's not that, it's the moon in the daytime sky. And if it's not that, it's just poop in general. There's the poop symbol. Um, so yeah, it's just one awful subject matter or another with me. So, you know, the reason I'm always talking about that is because it's always weighing heavily on my mind, okay? And it's almost like if I want to survive around here, well, I have to be that way. I mean, I know that doesn't make sense, but you know, my parents are of the mindset that if something is too obviously pro-gay or pro-LGBT, you know, like Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, when they started allowing the opposite gender to join, um, they will outright boycott it, okay? So, like, you know how Target decided that um, if someone identifies as a certain gender, they're going to allow them to use the restroom that corresponds with said gender, whether or not their legal identification proves it. Um, you know, when they started that, and, and like I say, I mean, it probably wouldn't, like, I've never, like, I, I've, I've never actually seen it happen, thankfully. Um, and it's probably not something that would really affect you if you went to the store. Okay, but because of all that stuff going on about five years ago in the news regarding that, my parents do not allow me to shop at Target. You know, now granted, we shop mostly at Walmart and the dollar stores, you know, to begin with. But if there was something only at Target and I absolutely needed it, my options would be to either get it online somehow or in rare cases, if I just absolutely want something at Target or I want to go to Target while my dad's at work, I can get in the car, go to Target but I have to pay cash. See, that's the thing. I can't use my bank card. Okay, I better have enough cash to pay for it, and it's usually not much. I've bought a few things at Target, but not very much. I'm not supposed to shop at Target. And as a result, I don't, because I don't want to make my parents mad. Okay, because they are very adamant about, you know, transgender is wrong. You know, you're born with genitals like this. You're a boy. You're born with what I have, you're a girl. And there's just no getting around that. You know, it doesn't matter how you feel inside. You know, it just doesn't matter. You know, it's all about genitals. You know, whatever you're born with, that's what you are. Okay? And so the reason I feel that way, like I say, is the way my parents feel. Um, and, you know, I'm also of the mindset that, like I've stated before, you can't just let people decide what gender they want to be. Because genitals are the only way that you're going to have approximately 50% of the population that's one sex and the other half being the other. You know what I'm saying? Um, because even with genitals, you don't have exactly half male, half female. You know what I'm saying? Slightly more boys than girls are born, but then after the age of 30, um, it becomes increasingly female dominated because men have a lower life expectancy. You know, age 30 is when you have the closest to a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, but by the time you get to old age, like I've stated before, you have mostly women. 
So even with genitals, you don't have exactly half male and half female, but that is the closest you can get to dividing people, you know, exactly in half. You know what I'm saying? That's about the only thing that, you know, half of the population has one way and the other half has the other. Anything else, any other, you know, arbitrary line in the sand between male and female is going to result in clearly more one or the other, you know, and it, I feel like it's sexist, you know, anything, you know, that you could use to say, okay, this is what it means to be a man or a woman, you know, other than genitals, you know, other than physiological things, um, anything else I feel is sexist, you know, sort of like the line between white and non-white, you know, what determines who is white and who isn't. You know, anywhere you draw the line is racist, okay? Just like anywhere you draw the line between men and women other than genitals is sexist, you know? Because what does it truly mean to have a female brain? Does it mean that you think two plus two is five instead of four? You know, what does it actually mean? And how do they prove it? See, that's the thing. It's like, I don't, I don't even, I don't actually believe that, you know, the whole trans thing is about making people happy. I really don't think that's what it's all about. Because if that were the case, you know, they would try harder to ensure that, you know, people who are even 1% heterosexual as their assigned gender would have no chance of, you know, transitioning. Like, you couldn't have hormones, you know, if you're attracted to um, the opposite biological sex, you know, because the whole point is to cure gays, not create them. Okay, and that's why it is so disturbing when you have so-called gay trans men or lesbian trans women. Because it's like if you're attracted to the opposite biological sex, you shouldn't have hormones. Okay, so basically, you know, anything that is expressively pro-LGBT is something that my parents do not want me to support and they don't support. Um, like, they're extremely conservative in their views. They're pretty much alt-right, you could say. I consider myself center-right, meaning moderately conservative. Um, but, you know, and, and that's why I say, you know, this, this Rugrats reboot, you know, I'm already disturbed by the fact that the parents of the kids will obviously be voiced by younger actors than the kids will be voiced by, you know, since they're still the originals pretty much. But, you know, I worry, you know, that if it has any pro-like, like any... any I don't know how to explain it. Like if there are transgender characters or, you know, if a character has two moms or whatnot, you know, I really don't think my parents will be in favor of that. You know, it's one thing to have a character that just seems gay or looks gay, you know, but to actually have characters that are expressively gay, you know, and, and homosexuality being normalized in a show I just don't think they're going to support that, and that's why I'm glad, you know, that I would never, like, I would never buy something to wear, you know, to promote the show or anything else like it. So, anyway, and it, it just really makes me mad because, uh, I don't know, I still, and this is why I don't allow comments on my videos, I still just cannot get over these people, you know, for the past, wow, is it almost two years? Two years of my life I've spent obsessed you know, with what I've been saying, um, you know, everywhere from DeviantArt to 4chan to here to Twitter, um, I tried Reddit but got stung pretty badly and I don't ever want to use Reddit again, I hate that site, um, but all these sites, you know, I've been saying for the past two years now, what I've been saying... Angelica Shat herself, okay, and I write faster in cursive, um, but yeah, it's like I've been saying that for two years now, and still to this day, you'll have idiots that want to deny it, it's like, why, you know, why would they even try to deny it, is what I don't understand, I mean, first of all, yes, you know, none of the characters are real, okay, I get that part, but, you know, in the truest sense that they exist, or in the truest sense that a fictional character can poop their pants, 
I believe that she and perhaps a few others literally crapped her pants, at least in the third movie and, you know, perhaps in several episodes. Um, and today I've brought something that I'm not going to actually experiment, but here's a mustard bottle, okay? And I don't have the red one here because it actually has ketchup in it and it's in the fridge, okay? So here's this yellow mustard bottle and it doesn't have a cap, okay? Well, let's pretend this is Angelica, okay? And it has a head. Pretend it has a head that looks like Angelica's head, okay? And pretend I have the red one here, and that's Chucky, and it has a Chucky head, okay? So I fill this with mustard, and on the end of it, instead of a cap, I put this tissue with some tape, okay? That represents a diaper, okay? And that's her butthole. Okay, so here's her head, here's her butthole, and I put this on it to be like a diaper of sorts. And so there's a red one, and that's Chucky, it has ketchup in it. And, you know, let's say there's a white one that has dressing in it, and that's Tommy. And Phil and Lil are exactly the same, whatever. Um, and then you have all these other characters. So they all have their name written there and a head, and, you know, this is their diaper. Okay, so let's just say this represents her, and it's filled with mustard. Okay, imagine, you see, th this is what I don't understand. The children's bodies were literally thrown against the wall of the submarine by the force, okay? And unless you're too stupid to realize that objects resist changes in velocity, one of the first things you learn about physics, um, you know, I don't, I don't know how someone can argue that she didn't crap her pants. Because, okay, let's say, you know, she's filled with mustard. That's like poop. Um, so, you take this, and I w let's say I were to throw it like this. It only has this to, to keep the mustard inside. Okay, and I throw it back and forth. And let's say some guys play baseball with it and hit it with some bats. And, and we just throw it around. Okay, and all the others as well. And let's say the ketchup bottle gets stepped on. Or let's say, you know, someone pushes you to the ground and your elbow goes squeezing the ketchup bottle. Okay, that's like Nigel falling on top of Chucky at one point in the submarine. Okay, and what do you think is going to happen to the Kleenex on all of them that are barely held on there with tape? Hmm. You don't have anything to hold it inside except the Kleenex. And they get thrown around, squished, and, you know... It's like, what do you think this Kleenex will look like when it comes off, okay? Probably not like this. So, unless you're just so retarded that you do not understand basic physics, the only argument against what I've been saying about Angelica, and like I say, the others could have also done it, you know? Um... Yes, it could be Tommy, but how the hell does that mean that she didn't? How does one negate the other is what I'm trying to say. You know, like, that that's like saying um, the ketchup bottle squirted out, but the, you know, that no, the ketchup, the, the mustard didn't squirt out because the ketchup did. Okay, does that make any sense? Like, you know, if, if let's say you threw both of them around and somebody said, oh, the mustard squirted out. And you'd be like, no, it didn't. The ketchup did. Well, okay, how does like how does one negate the other is what I'm trying to say. Okay, yes, it could be Tommy. Yes, it could be Dill. Yes, it could be any of them. Okay, but how does that mean that she didn't? See, it's never been about that the others didn't. It's been about the fact that she did. Okay, so, and, and it, just, it just really makes me mad because, you know, they can't even prove, like I say, I mean, I, I don't know what how the reboot is going to deal with this subject, but we have never, we have never, 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 we have never seen Angelica's butt naked. We have never seen her butt, okay? We've seen her in a bathing suit. We've seen her in various outfits. You know, we've seen her in all sorts of things, but never once, with the exception of the hallucination in Slumber Party, was it? where Tommy thought she was the little Cupid on his mobile, okay? So, you know, that was a hallucination. That wasn't supposed to be her actually naked. Never once in Rugrats history have we seen her butt, you know, sitting on the toilet. The one time we see her sitting on the toilet 
is um, when she goes to camp and, you know, she's sitting on the toilet or the outhouse fully clothed, okay? So don't ever try to tell me, I mean, how can you, th that's what I'm saying, you know, how can you prove that she is toilet trained if never once do we see her demonstrate that she can use the toilet, okay? Um, you know, I mean, never. they don't even, like I say, you know, I mean, they show Chucky peeing on the potty once. Well, don't you know that there are six-month-olds that have peed on the potty, you know, for the first time, or are younger than six months old? But that does not mean that they're potty trained to the extent that an adult is potty trained, okay? So, you know, this this crap about, you know, that, that people want to say, oh, well, she's potty trained. She would never crap her pants. Okay, well, even if, you know, let's just say she were potty trained, you know, by the by the world's definition, not my definition. Okay, let's just say that, um, you know, most people, since men have such low expectations um, of being potty trained, you know, let's just say that by the world's definition, she is or was potty trained. Um, well, that still doesn't mean she didn't crap her pants. You know what I'm saying? Even if she was not wearing a diaper, I mean, you know, believe me, I had a sister, so I know that kids much older than three years old crap their pants all the time. And, of course, I never did, but... You know, kids do it. Um, and so, you know, the only mental block, you know, that people have, you know, about wanting to say that she, would, she wouldn't she would poop her pants or didn't poop her pants or whatnot, um, you know, is this stupid idea that, you know, only men, you know, that, that they want to say, like, only men have a functioning GI tract so you know other than that I really don't understand you know what argument you could have you know no one can prove that she didn't because of course she's not a real person um so you know you may as well just quit while you're ahead